Another lawmaker on Capitol Hill has been diagnosed with a presumed case of COVID-19. So far, at least five members of Congress have tested positive and more than two dozen others are under self-quarantine. Correspondent Eric Rosales continues our team coverage tonight from Capitol Hill. Eric. Well, Tracy, the latest lawmaker is U.S. Representative Natibia Velasquez, a Democrat from New York. In a tweet, she says that her symptoms are mild and she is currently self-quarantined and under the care of the Office of Attending Physician here at the Capitol. Meanwhile, those who live in the Washington, D.C. area, they've been told to stay at home. To say Washington, D.C. looks like a ghost town is an understatement. The leaders of the nation's capital, Maryland and Virginia, announced stay-at-home orders on Monday as the number of coronavirus cases continues to rise in the capital region. Under this order, everyone in Virginia must remain in their place of residence unless they must go out for food, supplies, work, medical care, or to get fresh air or exercise. And some predict the area will soon become a hotbed of outbreaks in the weeks ahead, just like New York is experiencing right now. Inside the Capitol, the halls are empty except for police and cleaning crews who tell EWTN they are scrubbing it from floor to ceiling. Although the House and Senate are in recess, lawmakers are still working on legislation. Last week, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says Congress must take a closer look at the nation's medical and medicine supply chain. As we're working trying to get the PPEs for the hospital, China controls too much of our supply chain. Congress has too much control of the ingredients that will go into our medicines, too much control of our medical equipment. Statistics show China accounts for 95% of U.S. imports of ibuprofen, 91% of hydrocodone, and 70% of acetaminophen. According to Commerce Department data in all, 80% of the U.S. supply of antibiotics are made in China. As a nation, we should redirect that and make sure that we can take care of ourselves and not be put in this situation again. The Trump administration and lawmakers are calling for a dramatic revamping of U.S. drug manufacturing operations. Lawmakers tell me that we can't rely on other countries, especially when it comes to our health. Tracy. Okay, thank you, Eric. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting from Capitol Hill.